Alrighty, in this video, we're going to be looking at use media query, and then we're going to, you know, look at the docs as we do every video because it's always important to reference the docs. And then we're going to be doing a fun example here, and I have a little tidbit in there I want to share about another hook. I'm not covering in why, but why this one actually will be a useful substitute as well. So let's go look at the docs with the floating body dude. We're almost done with this tutorial series, and I still don't have an appropriate name, so. Uh, just leave it. Leave a uh, comment below what he should be named. Maybe we'll reuse him again later. Maybe it's not even a he. But anyways, let's look at the docs. So we have use media query here, and it says it is a custom hook used to help detect whether a single media query or multiple queries individually individually match. So that's kind of tipping you off that we're going to have some boolean values coming back, whether something is or is not the case here. And so we can see that right here returns an array of booleans, whether or not the query matches, you know, whatever it is you're putting inside of it. So let's look down here and we see the usage is, you know, or larger than 1280 pixels. And we have this one query in here, the minimum width is 1280. And so is larger than 1280. And the text is going to render using this ternary operator, whether or not it is the case that it's larger than 1280 or smaller than 1280, which is, is pretty helpful because if you think about it, you could add other types of media queries in here as well. And you could just like centralize where that question is being asked, where that decision is being made. And you don't have to necessarily uh, export that to a CSS file somewhere, which is nice because it, it localizes that logic for you. And so we see another example down here, but I think rather than going through and talking through this, I have a very similar example I'm going to show you, um, not just rendering text, but also doing stuff like changing variants. So let's get to that and uh, let's see an example. Alrighty, so this is actually the second time I'm recording this right now because I realized sometimes when you're coding this stuff, you're like, yeah, that's a good example on this line. And then you're like, yeah, that's a good example on this line. And then when you actually go to explain it back, all these ideas in a cohesive manner, you're like, holy crap, none of this makes sense. And so we have our imports up here ready to go, use media query, which is what we're focusing on. We have a text and we have a button. And let's just, let's get to coding. And I'm copying and pasting these in. Like I said, because this is my second time doing this, y'all are seeing this and may think it's my first go around, but it is not. And so what we have here is we have use media query right here. And so what this is doing is this is asking a it's it's doing a media query for us. But each value here in the arrays, you can see these square brackets here are corresponding to the values we're turning here. Now, we are using is larger than 1280 or has, you know, is larger than, you know, 480, you know, we're, we could switch these back and forth. That's fine. I'm just showing this for really example. But we have this right here, and let's save it to bring it up on screen, that these return Boolean values, which is also kind of cool because although I'm rendering text here, I could render components based upon certain sizes. So think about you have a header, you have a menu, but then when you get small, you may want to turn that menu into like a, a hamburger drop down whatever the heck they're called, right? And so these are great ways to signal to our components, hey, what do you do at certain sizes? And I was gonna try and do use breakpoint value that hook, and there's not a tutorial on that, and I don't think there's gonna be, because one, this is like 68 videos I'm doing on this topic, which is a lot. But also, it didn't quite work the way I thought it was going to, and I couldn't quite get it to work. I don't know if it's me, my computer, something in something about you know this part of the world I'm in right now it just never worked out so instead even for my own projects I could use media query and I could get roughly the same result which is at the end of the day if you can't get exactly what you want get in the ballpark so we have this variant here so in both these cases if it's larger we're gonna you know say right here uh that it's you know um going to be larger. And then also the variant, which we could change that to, is going to be solid. But here it's an outline and it says it's smaller than 1280. So as we expand this out here, we see this is larger than 1280. 
and it changes to a solid. And so this is, I think, one of the unsung hooks. There's a lot of things that Shocker does that I think is super cool and super flexible. Others I'm like, okay. And others I'm like, you have like three of the same thing going on here, but that's cool. You're giving me a lot of ways to do one thing. But when it comes to this, I think this is one of the unsung heroes of the, like the hooks here that we could use. And for another example, let's just switch these out. Is larger than, you know, we'd have to actually probably come in here for this one then and shrink this guy up right here. And so, you know, you could play around with this with your media queries, like min width, maybe max width, you know, maybe I have this set up and I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing, but this is a really powerful hook and this could orchestrate a lot of sweet stuff for you because if you have a separate CSS, CSS file, you know, and maybe you have something that compiles a bunch of CSS files into, into one file and, and then you're like hunting and pecking wherever your stuff is, right? This is a nice centralized way to keep track of your media queries that you know only impact small tiny pieces of your code and i think it keeps it really organized overall so i'm gonna quit yakking if you like what i'm doing i hope you do i love doing this stuff and i'm doing it for free i'm have like you know 15 subscribers or whatever but like share subscribe uh you know drop some words and comments below and i'll see you all in the next video